Hello guys, welcome to our lesson. Today we will solve a problem on the topic the magnetic force on a current carrying conductor. This is the goal of the lesson. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to use and calculate the equation for the current carrying conductors. Before we start solving problems, uh, it will be useful to recall the topic from the last lesson. We know that if a conductor is in the field of a magnetic field, this wire will exert a force which can be calculated by using this equation. Current multiplied to the length of the wire, to the magnetic field strength, and to the sine alpha. Alpha it is the angle between the wire and the magnetic field lines. Now let's start solving from the first problem. So this is the simplest problem. Let's write the given. We know the length of the wire is 0.1 meter and we know the magnetic field strength is equals to uh, 4 10 minus 4 Tesla and we know that the current which flows through a wire is 0.5 amperes and we are asked to find a force and also we are asked to find a magnitude of the force. So let's start from the direction of the force. Using the second right hand rule, we can easily find the direction of the force. And our fingers must be aligned with the direction of the magnetic field and we must adjust the thumb into the direction of the current. So current is upwards here and that's why force will be to the left. And now what about the magnitude of that force? Magnitude can be calculated using this equation. And alpha here is 90 degrees because the wire and the magnetic field lines are perpendicular to each other. F will be equal to I is 0 0.5, L 0 0.1 meters, magnetic field strength is 4, 10 minus 4, and sine 90 degree it is 1. So we have here, if we calculate the number 0 0.2, 10 minus 4, and we can write as follows. So that's it. It's the first problem. Now let's go to the second problem. What we see here, now the wire is not perpendicular to the magnetic field lines. The wire comes at some angle. Let's write what we know. We know the length of the wire is 0.5 meters. We know the current is 8 amperes. And we know the magnetic field strength, it is 2 Tesla. Also what we know is the angle between wire and the magnetic field lines. And at A part, we are asked to find the force and its magnitude and also direction. At B part, we are asked to find also force, but when current is doubled and force when magnetic field strength is doubled. 
Let's start from the A part. Again, we can find the magnitude of the force using this equation. That's it. Now just let's put the numbers from the givens into the equation. Current is 8 amperes. Length is 0.5 meters. Magnetic field sinks 2 tesla. And sine 127. From trigonometry, sine 127 is equals to the sine 53 and it's equals to the 0.8 so force is equals to 8 times 0.5 times 2 times 0.8 and finally answer 6.4 newtons what about the direction of the magnetic force again using the second right hand rule we can find the magnitude uh, direction of the force. It will be from us into the page direction of the magnet force. Now let's go to the B part. We know that force is directly proportional to the current. It means that if you double current, simply force is also doubled. 12.8 newtons. And also force is directly proportional to the magnetic field strength. And if you double that, force is also doubled. But you can find by calculating, also I'll show this method. So instead of I, I will write 2I, L, B, sin alpha, or I, L, 2B, sin alpha. In both cases, you see that answer must be increased by factor 2. Now, let's go to the third problem. It's, it can be a bit more complex, but after we write the givens, you'll see that it's not so complex. First, the length of the wire is 0 0.3 meters, and the resistance of the wire is 2 ohm voltage at the end of the wires is 20 volts. The magnetic field strength is 10 Tesla. And also gravity, it is 10 Newton per kilogram. Now, we need to find the mass of the ball. And we know that here we have a equilibrium. So this is the side view of the wire. Using the right hand rule, the second right hand rule, we can easily predict that force must be directed to the left and to the right we have a rope, it has a tension force and we can find tension force here. It's obvious that tension equal to mg. And from equilibrium, from the first condition of the equilibrium, we can say that force and tension must be equal. And also, substituting instead of tension mg, we can say that force must be equal to mg. 
And now, what about the force? Also, we can find force from the from this equation. The angle between the wire and mag uh, magnetic field lines is 90 degree. That's why sine alpha will be equal to 1. So I L B is equals to here M G. And we can find here what is the current it will be voltage by the resistance 20 volts by the 2 ohm 10 ampere mass will be equal to ILB over G let's put the numerical values 10 ampere length is 0.3 meters uh, magnetic field strength is 10 Tesla gravity is 10 so 10 and the denominator and the numerator can be cancelled so we've got the final answer mass is equals to 3 kilogram so we need a ball with a mass of 3 kilogram to set the equilibrium so this was the last problem it's the end of the lesson if you like our lesson please subscribe and share thank you